Hello everyone, kumusta po kayo? I hope na nasa mabuti pa rin po kayong kalagayan. There have been questions regarding foreign divorce obtained abroad and its legal effects in the Philippines. So I decided to make a series of three videos and this is the first video. The question is kung may visa ba ang divorce decree obtained in a foreign country insofar as the Philippines is concerned. Yan po ang sasagutin natin after this. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, sana po ay mag-subscribe po kayo and please don't forget to hit that notification bell icon upang ma-notify po kayo of our future videos. Hindi po lingid sa kaalaman natin that Philippines greatly values the sanctity of marriage. Sa Pilipinas po kasi, ang marriage ay hindi isang ordinary contract lamang that the parties can easily abrogate. It is an institution. That is why yung mga acts na makapag-weekend sa foundation ng family as a social institution ay hindi nare-recognize o binibigyang visa sa ilalim ng Philippine jurisdiction. At isa na po dito ang divorce obtained abroad. Base po sa Article 17 of the Civil Code of the Philippines, may mandate po maging ang mga korte natin not to recognize judgments issued by foreign countries o maging yung mga batas o convention na ginawa o pinagkasunduan sa ibang bansa na contrary o labag sa public policy ng ating pamahalan. The law states that prohibitive laws concerning persons, their acts or property, and those which have for their object public order, public policy, and good customs shall not be rendered ineffective by laws or judgments promulgated or by determinations or conventions agreed upon in a foreign country. Maliban po dito, kahit po yung mga Philippine citizens na nasa labas ng bansa, hanggat sila po ay Filipino citizens, they are under obligation sa ilalim po ng Article 15 of the Civil Code of the Philippines na sundin ang mga prohibitive laws. And their acts, which violate the Philippine public policy, will not be given effect in the Philippine jurisdiction. That is why in the early case of Ten Chavez v. Escano, hindi po narecognize ng Supreme Court ang divorce decree na inisyo ng Nevada Court sa USA. The Supreme Court explained na sa ilalim po ng Civil Code na noon po ay siyang batas pagdating sa usaping ito, hindi tinatanggap ng Pilipinas ang absolute divorce. Ang sabi po ng Korte Suprema, even more, the grant of effectivity in this jurisdiction to such foreign divorce decrees would, in effect, give rise to an irritating and scandalous discrimination in favor of wealthy citizens to the detriment of those members of our polity whose means do not permit them to sojourn abroad and obtain absolute divorces outside the Philippines. Nevertheless, kahit na against the public policy ng Pilipinas ang divorce, the courts have held that if the non-recognition thereof will work injustice or unfairness to Philippine nationals, the divorce decree obtained abroad may be given limited recognition under the Philippine jurisdiction. That is why kung magiging prejudicial naman sa rights o interests ng mga Filipino citizens ang foreign divorce decree, willing naman po ang ating mga korte na ito ay bigyang bisa at ipatupad sa Pilipinas. For instance, in the case of Van Dorn versus Romilio, narecognize ng Philippine Supreme Court ang divorce decree that was obtained by the alien spouse from a Nevada court in the USA. In that case, iginiit ni Richard, ang alien husband, na may conjugal rights siya sa negosyo ni Alice in the Philippines dahil hindi naman daw valid ang divorce decree na inisyo ng Nevada court sa Pilipinas. Si Alice ang kanyang divorced Filipino wife. Ang sabi ng Supreme Court, it is true that owing to the nationality principle embodied in Article 15 of the Civil Code, only Philippine nationals are covered by the policy against absolute divorces the same being considered contrary to our concept of public policy and morality. However, aliens may obtain divorces abroad, which may be recognized in the Philippines, provided they are valid according to their national law. 
In this case, the divorce in Nevada released private respondent from the marriage from the standards of American law under which divorce dissolves the marriage. Dagdag din ng Supreme Court, base na rin sa kanyang national law, hindi na asawa ni Richard si Alice kung kaya't wala siyang legal standing na ihabla si Alice upang habulin ang inakala niyang conjugal assets nila sa Pilipinas. Bound po siya ng divorce decree na inisyo ng korte sa United States and considering that the said court validly exercised jurisdiction over him and that he never questioned the decision of the said court, stopped o barred na po siya na mag-assert ng karapatan sa alleged conjugal property sa Pilipinas. The Supreme Court likewise added na hindi makatarungang igiit pa rin na sila ay mag-asawa at consequently for Alice to be subject to the wife's obligations under the civil code. Alice should not be obliged anymore to live together with, observe respect and fidelity, and render support to Richard. Hindi na rin pwede maging ear o tagapagmana ni Alice si Richard with possible rights to conjugal property. Alice should not be discriminated against in her own country if the ends of justice are to be served. Ang principle po na ito ay inapply din ng Supreme Court sa kasong Pilapil v. Ibay Sumera kung saan narecognize ng Supreme Court ang divorce decree na naobtain sa Germany. In the said case, sinabi ng korte na hindi proper party ang alien spouse sa pagsampa ng kasong adultery sa kanyang Filipino wife. It is because hindi na sila magkasawa by virtue of the divorce decree. The court stated that the severance of the marital bond had the effect of dissociating the former spouses from each other, hence the actuations of one would not affect or cast obloquy on the other. Sana po ay may natutunan kayo sa ating discussion. In our next video, tatalakayin naman po natin kung maaari bang magpakasal ulit legally ang isang Filipino spouse after ng divorce obtained in a foreign country. Ano ba ang policy ng Pilipinas pagdating sa usaping ito? Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and do hit that notification bell icon upang manotify po kayo of our next and future videos. Always remember, ignorance of the law excuses no one from compliance therewith. I will see you in my next video. Ingat po kayo.